I wonder how Kraken's doing. Time for an update. Let's get Kraken. Welcome to another episode of Kraken's Garage. Today we're going to talk about jacked up frames, in this case mine. Let's get started. Uh, let's get cracking. Okay, it's been exactly a week since I had surgery. I don't know if anybody cares, but I'll give a quick update. I'm pretty beat up. Uh, they made three incisions, one in the front abdominal area, down low, uh, below your belly button, about four inches, and uh, two in the back, one in the center of the back, about two inches. To the right of that is another two inch incision where I assume they went in and uh, chipped some bone off my pelvic region. Then they grind it up and mix it up with some sort of glue or substance to support the new fusing of those bones and give it some structure. So it's kind of like uh, concrete for it, made with organic materials, meaning your own bone. Now with that said, uh, when they went in there and chipped that bone, I have tremendous amount of bruising. I'm not gonna show you the incisions, but you can see after a week how it's looking now. My stomach is completely bloated and looking absolutely horrific, so uh, there's your retina burned for today. So the meds they're giving me, uh, I've, I've weaned myself off of all of them because most of them just kind of dumb you down while you're trying to heal. I'm not a big fan of those, so we're off of that. I'm able, I'm fully mobile, I'm able to go, go up and down steps. And I have a funny story to share with you that happened in the hospital if you have any interest. Okay, my funny story in the hospital. I come out of post-surgery, I was on the table, I don't know, six, eight hours? It was a long damn time. And so it was very late at night and I wake up in recovery room and I'm in a shared room with another patient next to me with nothing but a curtain between us. Not much privacy under these circumstances. Uh, this poor man, he was elderly and I believe dementia was involved, but this poor man had the shits going on morning, noon, and night. So every hour of the day and night, he was pooping the bed, pooping his gown, and the poor orderlies had to come in and clean that mess up. It was brutal. The sounds and noises coming out of that side of the room were ungodly. So they gave me another dose of drugs and zonk out. I went like a light and I wake up the next morning. And I hear these ungodly noises coming again from uh, my partner next door. And I'm, I'm talking to uh, the nurse and uh, also the orderly who are coming in to check on me. And I'm like, dude, what's going on with the Knight of the Oval Throne over here? Sir, shits a lot. <laughs> Those guys, buy oh, it hurts a lot. Those guys busted off laughing. Um, you know, it's a bad situation, but humor uh, tends to help those situations a bit. So they served me breakfast and I'm laying there and I'm like, man, I gotta get out of this joint. So I ding the bell, get the nurse over there and I said, get one of my doctors down here, please. So they fished up somebody who was beating on my um, spine last night and uh, he came in and I talked to him and I said, well, what do I need to do to get out of this place? And he said, you need to be able to walk down that hallway about 50 yards, go up and down a flight of stairs and walk back another 50 yards unassisted. And I said, if I do that, you're gonna let me out of here? And he said, I sure will. So this was my hold my beer moment. So I said, get out of my way, just watch and see what happens. I cobble my ass out of that bed. You know, the gowns are really just dreadful because you know, your ass is hanging out of the back of them. They're just terrible. I go marching my happy ass down that hallway about 50 yards. I went up and down the flight of stairs. Of course I'm in pain, but I'm not gonna show him. Came back to 50 yards, walked in the room, and I said, give me my paperwork. I want out of here today. And he said, you got it. <laughs> so I called up Mrs. Crack and I said, you know, uh, come get me. And uh, she came and picked me up later on that evening and I was able to get out within 24 hours because I was up and walking. That's an amazing, miracle of modern medicine, what I'm able to do versus what just took place on my body. So I thought I would share that funny story with you. I hope you enjoyed it. As a joke, I was just gonna film kind of an intro while I was being prepped and getting ready to go into OR. And I was kind of souped up on some uh, drugs. Miss Kraken was shooting with my cell phone and I'll show a picture of that here real quick. My, my, clearly my thoughts aren't well sorted, so I thought you might find some humor in that. I thought it was kind of funny. 
At the end of this video, I'll show another clip where I tried to do another intro post-surgery. I'm completely gorked out of my mind on drugs coming out of anesthesia and uh, I'm frustrated because Mrs. Kraken isn't hitting the button when I tell her to and you know, uh, then again, I wasn't completely there either. So that's kind of funny as well. So I hope you enjoy those scenes. Uh, if we can't laugh at ourselves, then we're all gonna have a very long, hard life if you don't learn to laugh at yourself sometimes. So in other news, um, of the 11 hats, the flat bill snapbacks that I, I uh, had made, I have six left. I got them mailed out to many people right before I went in for surgery. So there's still six more if anybody would like those. Continental US, $25 delivered to your doorstep. If you're somewhere else in the world, just get in touch with me and I'll give you a quote and you can approve or disapprove at that time. To all those people that are purchasing them, thank you, I really appreciate it. It warms my heart to know that my hats are being worn globally. Thank you so much. In the spirit of being totally transparent, in the last giveaway, I was giving away a pair of uh, gloves that were on one of the first giveaways for Colby who won them, but they didn't fit him. So he sent them back to me and I, the object was to give them away. Well, Iron Dundee won those gloves out in Australia, but he misunderstood the video and I didn't have the heart to tell him that it was for these gloves only, so I just bought him a new pair. That said, I'm not going to put these same gloves up a third time. So I just reached out to one of my long-term viewers, Don, and I emailed him and said, would you like these? They'll be on your doorstep in a couple of days if you want them. He said, absolutely. I mailed them out to him. Don got them. Thank you, brother, for supporting the channel. It means a lot to me. I just didn't want to give away the same dang gift a third time. So I hope you understand. I owe a public apology to Canuck Chuck. I haven't gotten your wallet done. I tried to get it done before I went in for surgery. It did not get done. We're in the final stretches of that, but right now with the abdominal muscles the way they are, I can't do the pounding and beating on uh, dead animal skin with a hammer uh, for a little bit. I will stay in touch with you and make sure you are in the loop and get you your bad mofo wallet. My apologies, sir. Chico Whitey got his hat in Australia as well. I had one person that ordered the hat and he explained to me why he wanted the snapback. I, I told, I think I may mentioned that I'm not a fan of them. If you're a motorcyclist, the snapback, you can unsnap it and snap it on your belt, moto on down the road. When you pull off your helmet with all your beautiful helmet hair, unsnap it off your belt and pop it right back on your head. And I'm like, all right, that makes complete sense to me now. So I'm not the sharpest tool in the drawer. A guy up in can Canada who I've mentioned several times he ordered a hat as well as my stickers and he sent me some updated pictures rocking my stickers. And here's one on the back of his helmet, on his toolbox. His grandson happens to love the sea monster Kraken, uh, so his grandson got a welder's cap for his birthday, I believe, and he wanted the Kraken sticker on his welder's cap, which he did, and I'll share that picture as well. Uh, what's really cool about that is Guy's son-in-law and his grandson are restoring a 1950 GMC one-ton truck. It's a father and son project. As I told you, Guy, I, I used to be in the car business for 21 years, and I one of the brands that I worked with at the GM dealership was a GMC truck dealer. So trucks are near, very near and dear to my heart. I bet you don't know this, but when GMC got started with General Motors, GMC didn't stand for General Motors Corporation. It stood for Grabowski Motor Corporation. And it was a couple of brothers that started that and GM bought them out and did, started their truck line through there. Just a fun fact there. Iron Dundee did get his pictures and he posted on Instagram a uh, shout out to Kraken, uh, thanking me for the gloves. So he's rocking those in Australia. I hope, I hope you enjoy them and they bring you many miles of smiles in your lifetime. Thank you. When I ordered these last pair of gloves from Odin, uh, I emailed Odin Manufacturing and Ashley Smith uh, wrote me back and I put in a request and I said, can I give my viewers, I don't want anything for me, I'm not looking to make any money off of your product, but can I give my viewers a discount coupon should they want to order any of your products? And she said, absolutely. And I'll throw what the uh, promo code is here, but you'll get 10% off your order if you decide you want to order from Odin Manufacturing. So two thumbs up for Ashley. Thank you so much for hugging up the Kraken family. Greatly appreciate it. Outback Outlaw, one of my uh, biggest fans, and I'm one of his biggest fans. He ordered one of my caps, and he was rocking my cap in one of his videos. I'll show a short clip up here in the corner, but uh, 
Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. And it just brought a great big, huge smile to my face. Appreciate it. And our last shout out goes to Rody Bodie in Norway. He ordered one of my caps. He was the last cap to get sent to the post office before I uh, went in for my procedure. And he's rocking my cap all the way in Norway. How cool is that? I, I just don't know what to say. I'm a very humble man. It's the small things in life that just really make me happy. Rody Bodie, thank you so much. I appreciate it, brother. And there's my ghost dog, Bourbon. He's popping in to tell me uh, to wrap this video up. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more in the future, hit that subscribe button right down there in the corner. And remember, folks, go riding. It's good for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hit. Hold on. Okay, go. I made it through. I feel like I've been hit by a Mack truck. Let's get cracking.